Welcome to this video all about Facebook marketing strategy. Now we're in July 2023, so we're midway through the year. And why am I bringing this to you? Well, because there's been an explosion of new social media platforms recently, and I wanted to focus your attention back down to the good old Facebook. Because although there's a lot of bad vibes about Facebook out there, if you're a business owner or you are using Facebook as a tool to gain visibility, then this platform has all the tools inside of it to help you reach a massive audience. So Facebook is still the third most visited website in the whole world behind Google and YouTube. And you know how passionate I am about YouTube. So having Facebook in that list is super important. This puts it ahead of the leading other platforms like Twitter and Instagram. And the platform boasts 2.96 million active users on a monthly basis. This makes it the most used social media platform worldwide. So although it's the third visited, it is the most used social media platform in the whole wide world. So if you are a business owner, you need to be on Facebook. So Facebook has a bag full of tools that you can use to reach your ideal audience. And I'm going to go through how you can use these tools linked to the different profiles that you can present as yourself or your business on Facebook. And we're going to start with number one, which is your Facebook profile. So your Facebook profile is you. You are your Facebook profile and that is your identity on Facebook. Facebook profiles can be either public and open to everybody to view, or you can switch the privacy settings so that only your friends or your friends of friends can see your profile and your posts. Now recently, Facebook also introduced the Facebook professional profile mode, which basically means that instead of using a Facebook page, which we'll go to in just a second, you use a personal profile, which is set as a professional level. And the professional level means that all your posts and everything that you share is public to everybody. And that means that everybody, including next door neighbor Tom, can see your updates. So the main difference between a Facebook profile which is personal and a Facebook profile which is professional is that the professional level is open to the public. And instead of having friends, you have followers. So you have to decide whether you want to keep your profile as friends, families, colleagues and network, or you want to opt up for the professional one. If you are, however, a creator and you create lots of video content and you only want to have a professional presence on Facebook, you don't want to have a business page, then the Facebook personal professional profile is the one that you need to opt for. Okay, so now we've got that out of the way, let's talk about the original Facebook business page. So Facebook has a business page. Now this is like your storefront. If you're a bricks and mortar company, then this is like the front window of your store. If you're a personal brand like me, this is where you can share your business orientated posts to the general public. Everything that you put on your business page is public and every video, every post, every reel, every story that you upload to it can reach and reach and reach a bigger and bigger and bigger audience, amplifying your visibility across Facebook. Okay, so now we've spoken about the three different types of accounts you can have on Facebook. How do you use Facebook strategically for your business in 2023 and beyond? So the first thing you want to understand is that on Facebook, you can upload photographs, videos, live video and audio onto the platform. The main ways of uploading are either to upload a photograph to your personal or professional profile or upload a photograph to your business page. The second way that you can use your assets to multiply your visibility on Facebook is to upload a Facebook Reel. Now, a Facebook Reel is a short vertical video, just like TikToks and Instagram Reels, but it's present on Facebook. And you can upload a Reel to your personal profile, your professional profile, and or your business page. Now, these Reels are used and are open to the general public, and they can amplify your visibility. You can, of course, repurpose a TikTok video or an Instagram reel over to Facebook. Just make sure you don't have the other platforms logos on it just to be on the safe side. So you don't have to keep recreating content. You can just create content for one 
time and use that across all of the platforms, including YouTube over there as well. Just going to get that in because YouTube, you just need to be on that platform as well. But we can talk about that later. So Facebook posts, Facebook reels. Don't forget Facebook stories. Facebook stories are a fantastic way of showing everybody how you show up in your business and your personal life on a day-to-day basis. So the difference between a Facebook story and a Facebook reel or a Facebook post is that your stories disappear after 24 hours. How cool is that? So if you're going to a party and you want to share stuff personally about going to a party, then share it because it's only going to be on your profile or your business page for 24 hours. If you're working and you're inside your studio and you want to show what's going on during the day, share it because after 24 hours, that update's going to disappear. I love stories because it really pulls your audience into your world. You can show them behind the scenes, you can show them your studio, you can show them how you're doing something, you can even show them the insights of a team meeting or when you are like planning something on a board. Stories are great for short interactive updates that you can share with your audience and remember they only last for 24 hours. Okay, now I haven't forgotten some of the other cool tools within Facebook and you're probably wondering, well she hasn't mentioned Messenger and she hasn't mentioned Facebook groups and she hasn't mentioned WhatsApp and she hasn't even mentioned that new tool on the blog that Meta's just released over on the other side on Instagram called Threads. Well, I'm not going to mention threads. There's a link below this video to a video that I've already done on threads. So you can go and catch up on that in a moment. But let's talk about Facebook Messenger. So Facebook Messenger is a tool where you can communicate very closely with individuals on the platform. Now, you can use Facebook Messenger as a personal tool to chit chat between your friends and family. You can use it as a tool on your professional profile and your personal profile to interact and network between work colleagues. And you even have Facebook Messenger on your business page. So if you want to keep your personal stuff completely separate from your business stuff, you can have two separate Messenger accounts so that you can actually keep work and your personal life completely separate. So that's Messenger. What about WhatsApp? Well, WhatsApp is also owned by Facebook and WhatsApp, again, has some hidden tools that you may not be aware of. WhatsApp is really good if you are a business owner selling products because unbeknown to a lot of people, WhatsApp, you can list your products on WhatsApp and you can sell through WhatsApp. So that's something that maybe you want to hit that subscribe button for on this video so that you can actually learn more from my other videos on my channel. I had saved Facebook groups for last because Facebook groups is one of the most amazing assets that Facebook have. It is a place where you personally can create a community around maybe a hobby that you do, maybe a group that you attend, maybe your neighbourhood that you are in. And you can communicate openly with other people inside this Facebook group. Now, the Facebook group can either be public, so everybody and anybody, including the cat, can see the content, or it can be private, so only those people who join the group can see the content in there. Now, Facebook groups are also really good if you are a business owner. So if you are a business owner, building a community around what you do and how you can help people, then a Facebook group is a really good tool to enhance that communication, that relationship, and that engagement that you have with your audience. Now, one word of warning, there is some old advice from a, from even as close as the beginning of this year, where people have recommended that you go into Facebook groups and you just give loads and loads and loads of advice, and then you start pulling the members out of there and, and pull them to your own groups. That's not what we want to be seeing happening in 2023 and beyond. Spamming a Facebook group like that is not cool. It basically upsets the Facebook group owner who's worked really hard to build that community. And it also makes you look a bit sleazy. You know, like, ooh, you can't be bothered to like do the work yourself. You're just gonna just go in and grab people from other people. No, we don't want that, okay? We want to build genuine engagement and a genuine community with people who you want to work with or you want to get to know. So Facebook groups are a great way 
for you as a personal user of Facebook or as a business user of Facebook to grow and amplify your influence on Facebook. So Facebook is definitely not dead. It is fully alive and it is fully an amazing platform, an all-in-one platform where all the tools are really at your fingertips. You just need to understand how to use them. And I have an absolutely amazing catalog of videos on my YouTube channel, and I'll drop a link to the playlist below this video, where you can learn how to use all of the tools on Facebook, including some really good strategies like how to share your YouTube videos onto your Facebook stories, including a link in there, without spamming your Facebook page or your profiles. So don't ignore Facebook, it is an amazing platform to be on. My name's Anita Wong, thank you for listening to me and getting to the end of this video. If you have any questions about using Facebook, then drop them below this video. And if you want to learn more about raising your visibility using YouTube, Facebook and Instagram, then do reach out to me for a free 15 minute chat because I'm completely open to jumping on Zoom and having a chat to see how I might be able to help you. Thanks very much. Give me the thumbs up and don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Oh, and watch these videos because they are really cool and you're going to love them. Bye for now.